What's up, YouTube? It's time for another vape-tastic voyage with your boy, Mr. B. Let's have a vape. The Griffin sitting on the cuboid. Love it. How y'all doing tonight, YouTube? Mr. B's doing good. And tonight, we are going to review a local man's box. Mr. Dan Biccioni, Biccioni, um, which is the maker of Danfire Vape, well, Danfire Box Mods. Um, my man hooked me up with the box. Um, he let me design it, and this thing looks clean and sweet. Peep it. Peep it, people. Nice. The DNA strand with the vaping with Mr. B. It doesn't get much better than that. And if you can't get down with a custom box mod, I don't know what is going to get you up. So... This thing um, is very clean. Um, Dan is just starting to get out and um, try to promote his product. And he would like to use me as his starting point. And um, it's clean. It's, it's a clean box. I like it. Um, this is a uh, 1590G um, CNC box. Uh, it's aluminum painted um, so we've got your standard spring-loaded fire button um, it has a Veritube 510 brass pin spring-loaded connector which is very springy Yeah, lots of springy action there. Lots of springy action there. Not stiff at all, at all. On a 22 millimeter diameter disc. You see this with the ports? It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, it ha let's let's take out. Let's take this off. We've got the uh, rare earth magnets, which are super tight. Not going anywhere. Um, we got a little bit of jiggle. But I believe that's just a CNC aluminum box issue. It's not his issue. It's just the box. Um, we got his label there. Dan Fire Vapes. Um, just a word of advice. Uh, Dan, you, should, you might want to serial number him. Um, in the order you do them. Something I would do. Because um, anybody can take the sticker off of there and put whatever they want on it. And it's not yours anymore. So that's a word of advice for me. Um, inside we've got some nice thick copper wiring. We've got a, um, custom 3D sled, which is nice and clean. Nice and clean. Got some firm connectors for your positive and negative. This is a series box. Um, the sled looks good. Nice and clean 3D printed sled. Uh, <clears throat> it's got a MOSFET with a uh, 15K resistor in it as well. Um, as far as everything inside, it looks pretty good. Um, I really like it. But um, only other thing that I would recommend for you, Dan, is to... Um, you might want to put like some kind of like a wrap or like a carbon fiber film around the sides just so you don't have any available metal to be touched by your batteries except for your positive and negative terminals um, that's just something I nitpick on and boxes that I've actually had made they have those but this nothing wrong with this by all means um, I just hit this before the video and this thing is a fucking beast um, 
And yeah, I mean, it's it's good. The soldering is good. Um, looks like it's about 12 or 14 gauge copper wire all throughout here, all the same size. Um, I mean, it's clean. It's a little, uh, that's not scratches or anything, that's just finger smudges, but it's clean. Nice box. The etching is nice. Very nice. Super clean cover. I love this thing, man. I'll be rocking this all the time, Dan. So, uh, Dan, with Dan Fire mod boxes, um, he sells them for 80 bucks, as they are with the CNC aluminum uh, 1590Gs. And for 10 bucks, you can have it engraved however you want with an image that is available to him that he can use. So, with... Uh, I tell you, these magnets are awesome, man. Like, just watch. Whoop. There you go. I almost lost the lid. That's why I dropped it. But not going anywhere. Um, everything lines up properly. Um, the top is measured perfect for the 510. It's even all around. Um... The etching is, is centered perfectly. Um, the fire button is completely flush. There's no gaps. Uh, sled is not going anywhere if I mess with it. Wires are tight. Nothing's loose. I checked all the bolts. The bolts are good. And uh, with that said... Let's fire this thing up and see what it can do. Let's have a bait first. How y'all doing tonight? Um, what is it, like another week and a half or a week until my uh, 150 mil juice giveaway? Yes, 150 mil, not 120 mil because I'm an idiot. Um, if you haven't already checked that video out and you're not a subscriber and you haven't liked the video and you haven't put the comment at the bottom 150 mil juice giveaway, you will not be entered in that drawing. So you should probably head on over to that video. It's somewhere in my subscription page. And take care of those three things that you need to um, get done to um, win that juice. And yeah, so tell your people about it. If they haven't seen anything from me, tell them to check out my page. Subscribe to it. Like that juice giveaway video and all my other videos. Because why would you just like one and not all thousand of them? Um, and then put that comment there, and you'll be entered for the drawing that's on March 20th, which is on a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. What's up, babe? I'm probably going to review this Griffin in a day or two. Um, I love this thing. It's super sexy. And it looks good on my cuboid. You hear that, boy? Cuboid on that. It's cuboid, boy. Or girl. All right, so pop them bats out. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna put some um, some um, MXJO twenty five hundred milliamp thirty five amp batteries up in here. Always make sure you put your batteries in proper polarity. It's self-explanatory. <laughs> Oopsie. Not gonna work very well. No, I didn't put it in backwards. I just didn't put the strip down that pulls the batteries out. I wouldn't talk about correct polarity and then mess up the polarity. I really didn't do it. Alright, so, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put the, uh, the purple nurple fishbone up on here. 510 is nice and smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Looking sexy. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? Let me show you. Let me show you the um the, the rowdy rowdy factor on this thing. 
We're gonna vape on your mom. That's not a joke. I'm really vaping on your mom from Sick Boy. She tastes so good. Your mom tastes so good. I can't get enough of her. She's so juicy and everything, you know. Look at this. Good lord! Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Dan Fire Box Mods. Custom 1590G CNC Aluminium. Let's have vape. Mm -mm. Um, this build ohmed out at a .46. It is a 10 wrap 24 gauge Canthal build. And the taste factor on this is like a fat boy who hasn't had a Reese cup in a month. It's mmm, 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 mmm. Lord. Yeah, that's some good ish right there. So, uh, Dan Vaccioni, Vaccioni, I'm sorry, one of them is right. Um, nicest guy, nicest guy to meet. Um, we had a long conversation in person when I received this, and, um, I look forward to doing more stuff for Dan. Um, he's up and coming, so show him some credit in your Baltimore area. Um, I'm going to drop a link for his Facebook page so you can contact him directly about boxes you want to have built. Like I said, this box is 80 bucks as is um, in the colors he has available, and then having it engraved is an extra $10. So 90 bucks gets you a custom box from Dan Fire Box Mods. That's so much flavor from your mom, I want to smack your mom. And um, with that said, YouTube, y'all stay classy. And Mr. B and the custom Dan Fire Box Mod, we're out of here. Till next time, stay off tobacco. It's wacko. Good night, y'all.